Howdy, folks. Welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update brought to you by Drive America. As you can see, Brent and I are sitting next to each other, but we're social distancing by about 50 miles. Um, our daily updates brought to you by Drive America and Omega Auto and Home Warranties. Folks, listen, Bradenton, Florida, the 4th and 5th of February, Street Car Takeover is doing their first uh, event of the year in Bradenton on the 4th and the 5th. And come on out there, Drive America Omega will have a booth out there. And if you come out and sign up, you get 90 days of free roadside assistance, which can come in handy. I'm, I'm here to tell you. Brent, what are the markets doing? No, I'll tell you what, you know, it, it's, uh, we're kind of working our way through it all. So let's go ahead and go to the charts there, Bobby, if you would. And so start off with, you know, one that everybody's interested in is there's Bitcoin. And so as you can see, we still have, uh, we still got that line that we're uh, working our way through. And right now we're trading at 36, 767, 785, uh, down about 190 bucks uh, is Bitcoin. Go in and look at our overall market. We're at 1.6, almost 1.65 trillion. Of course, Drew and you and I can remember when it wasn't even, uh, you know, 250 million. The Dow is off 129, which is kind of interesting because it started started the day uh, kind of moving up, but it's given up some ground from there. The uh, S and P is off. Uh, 654. The NDX is off 23.64. And the Russell 2000 also started off with an update uh, and and is kind of reversed a little bit. So it's trying to hold the ground where it is. Gold is uh, off 30 gold with a big move down. Then we go in and look at silver. Silver is off 37 cents. Crude 87.62, up a buck 97 today. Futures are up 260 and 280, even though Bitcoin is down 221 right now. Ethereum has bounced back 25 points. Link is off 34 cents, 29 cents up for Cardano. Uh, Polkadot's off 14 cents. Litecoin's down 48 cents. XRP is uh, just basically flat. XLM's off slightly. Theta is up 18 cents. The hexagons are up just. 0.0004 cents, that's 0.24 per 21 percent, and Carnomaly has broken below 7 cents, it's at uh, 6.6, uh, or excuse me, 0.66 cents. Dogecoin is winning the battle of the of the dogs, it's up 0.86 percent, but Shib's right behind it, just up 0.48 percent, and that's where the markets are today. There you go. Well, I tell you what, Brent, I, you know, facts are really interesting things. And I, and I love it, especially when politicians get up there. We heard Biden when he did his, uh, his press for your uh, presser uh, last week. And he came up and he said, listen, I've created more jobs than any president in all the history and everything. Well, they're bounce back jobs from COVID. Most of them were temporary stuff. I mean, it's a, if you just look at that one statistic, you're like, oh, well, there something did good come out of this. No telling what it would have been with somebody who knew what they're doing in the office. That'd be kind of interesting. But listen to this. Two different articles today. One of them, should you take your salary in Bitcoin? So these, you can always tell where somebody slides on something as to how they skew the article and just which facts they decide to tell you. So they go in and say, Mixed signals, because if you'd have taken it in Bitcoin and it was at 45 or 50 and that's fallen to this and your salary's over there. and Well, they don't talk about the overall incline over the period of time. And it's almost like systematic investing that we talk about all the time. If you look at what it does over a period of time, I still think you'd be better. The one thing you know about these dollars right here is they don't have a lot of volatility to them. They just continue to go down. So when you take your money in dollars, they just go down, down, down every day. Look at the precipitous fall of the dollar from the time we came off the gold standard. The value of the dollar has continued to decline since 1972. It is. So, it's consistent, almost like a McDonald's hamburger, which isn't the best hamburger in the world, but it's consistent. And the dollar is consistent in dropping. Yep, that's exactly right. So then the other thing, now they do point out something here that I agree with. The IRS needs to go in there and work out the taxation piece of this thing because with the volatility and the appreciation and everything else, 
could grant some issues in there. But bottom line is, I'll bet you at the end of this first year where we had Mayor Suarez from Miami and the new mayor of New York both saying, hey, we'll take our salary in Bitcoin. I bet you we do a comparison at the end of 2022. And I bet they're better off taking it in Bitcoin than they are taking it in the dollar. So let's go to the this next, next piece of facts. So big headline out. Crypto cyber criminals laundered over $20 million worth of crypto daily in 2021. Man, that's a huge $8.6 billion laundered in crypto. So I thought, well, let me dig a little bit deeper. Let's see what other laundering, money laundering goes on. So listen to this. Money laundering in the U.S. makes up 15 to 38% of the money laundered globally, okay, is in the U.S. But listen to this. Of the money laundered, uh, cash laundered, over $800 billion to $2 trillion. So there they are. You know, the article comes out and says, oh, my gosh, people laundered $8 billion of cryptocurrency. Yeah, but they laundered a uh, 100 times that to almost a 1,000 times that. I was going to say, it's not even 1% of all that's been laundered. Exactly. So I go into this and listen to this. They also have crypto versus fiat currency money laundering statistics. So if you look beyond that one article, despite a rise in cyber crimes in 2020, criminal activity that used cryptocurrency fell by over half 2019 to 2020 because money laundering through cryptocurrency is surprisingly difficult. We've been talking about this for years when they go in and talk about it. A couple of other things, and I know we're over time, but listen to this, folks. In 2019, the proportion of cyber crimes that made use of cryptocurrency was 2.1%. However, that was in 2019. It dropped to 0.34% in 2020, dropped by five times from 2019 to 2020. Over 99% of cryptocurrency transactions run through AML-regulated exchanges. Bitcoin money laundering only makes up 0.9% of money laundering in the U.S. and 0.3% globally. And as of 2021, IRS had see, received $1.2 billion worth of cryptocurrency. And folks, this other thing is, is amazing. It's the last one I'll let you go. From, 19, from 2019, 2020, the amount seized increased from 700000 to $137 million. And then that number increased again. Yeah, 137 million to 1.2 billion. Cryptocurrencies are harder to launder money with. They're harder to steal. They're harder to hold people hostage. And that's the information that the art writer of that first article doesn't want you to know. Surprise, Folks, surprise, surprise. That's it. That's it. Folks, we'll see you again tomorrow on the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update.